Hey guys, welcome back to The Pressing Matters. I'm Scott, thank you for tuning in today and thank you for your support. Um, today I'll be talking about Elvis. Uh, with the release of the new Elvis movie, there's a lot of interest in Elvis and I wanted to talk about some of the reissues that are available for Elvis, which aren't many um, as far as audiophile oriented reissues. Um, before I get to talking about it, if you haven't already, please hit like. It'll help out the channel, and if you subscribe, you'll get notified of any new content that comes up, and you'll be helping out the channel greatly. So thank you so much for doing that. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, my first dip into Elvis was when, back when I was reading The Absolute Sound religiously, um, back when they were a little digest size format. I remember looking forward to those issues. They came out every two or three months and I'd go to the newsstand and see if there was a new one out. And it was always an exciting thing to get. But um, there was an article once, I'm not sure if it was by Fremer, Michael Fremer or one of the other writers, but it was kind of um, one of those articles where they asked all the uh, editors to uh, mention some of their favorite uh, best sounding records. And one of them was Elvis's um, Greatest Hits Volume 3. So that's where I started. I'll talk more about that in a minute. But um, I subsequently picked up a couple of Elvis issues from Simply Vinyl back when they were uh, in business. They were a UK based company that was right on the the cusp of the vinyl reissue craze and they had a fantastic catalog. The problem was um, they played around with well, on these, they played around with the track listings, but um, they were mostly from digital. Um, most of them did not sound as good as originals. They were nice to have some of these titles and fresh new pressings, but uh, their reputation is not great. Um, this one was one of their first um, reissues, and this is uh, Elvis' debut on RCA. The original track listing is only like 12 tracks. On here, there's like, <laughs> it looks like 20. I think there's 20 tracks and they're all mixed up. So it's not a straight reissue of the original material. And the sound quality suffers as a result. I had an original of this and it's pretty beat up, but it sounded better than this. Um, this is a lo-fi recording to begin with. Um, they're all mono tracks um, and it just doesn't, it just doesn't sound great. Um, another thing to keep in mind with Simply Vinyl is they were issued with PVC jackets that are like thick, heavy um, PVC with a flip over and a sticker. You wanna get those off of your records because it was found out later that um, that they leach onto the vinyl. Uh, they emit something and it fogs up the vinyl and fogs up the sound as well. So um, take those off. It can also also affect any records that are next to it. Not good. So if you haven't looked through your collection and you have some of these, take them off and replace them with an archival sleeve. Uh, you'll thank me in the end. Um, so yeah, this one I cannot recommend. Not at all. Um, they just, they just massacred it with a mixed up track listing and adding stuff. I like the original experience myself. <laughs> this one as well. This is simply vinyl also. Um, I bought this before I realized the track listing was all screwed up, all mixed up, all shook up or whatever you want to call it. Um, there's great tracks on here. No, no question about that. Again, they're mostly mono and I mean, they're all mono and, uh, the record just doesn't jump out at all. And songs like Hound Dog, they sh it should sound exciting and it's kind of flat. So again, they screwed this up. There's like 99, 18 tracks on there. So let's get back to the best sounding Elvis. In my experience, the best sounding Elvis is Elvis, volume th Elvis Go Golden Records Volume 3. This one which is very common. You can find it in many different pressings. 
I have three different pressings of it because I loved it so much. I love the material. It's very cute, very uh, <clears throat> interesting stuff. It's now or never, stuck on you, fame and fortune, I gotta know, surrender, I feel so bad, are you lonesome tonight, Marie's the name is latest flame, little sister, good luck charm, anything that's part of you and she's not you. I have three uh, editions as I said. This one is the original on the Black Dog label and sounds great. Wonderful, wonderful record. But you can also get reissues of it. Um, this is the third reissue and uh, I see it has a price sticker. It gives us a little idea of the time frame of this. It says suggested retail price $6.98 from a company, uh, a store called Record Bar, uh, on sale for five ninety nine. Um, this is the, I think it's the third reissue. It's also on a black label, but the dog is on the side and it has the modern RCA logo. Also sounds really good. Um, I also have an orange label one that's sort of in the middle of these two, and that sounds great too. Um, this one's highly recommended. Um, if you just want to dip your toe into Elvis, this is a cost-effective way to get some of the best sounding tracks. Um, and you shouldn't probably pay more than $20 for a nice copy of this. So keep an eye out for Elvis's Golden Records Volume 3. That's um, RCA LSP 2765. So for audiophiles, they're really the first audiophile oriented uh, reissue was this one from Analog Productions and it was a big deal. Um, George Marino took all the tracks, remastered them. It's reissued in a 3 by 45 format. So there's three albums in this set, uh, three records in this set. Um, it was back when they were doing the single sleeve which I'm not crazy about but um, it's really the sound that matters. Um, I think there was a booklet in here too. Uh, this is a sheet with an essay, but um, you know they they keep the original black dog label, and what's mono is mono, what's stereo is stereo, I think. Hmm, I'm not sure about that. I think some of these cuts are mono. They must be, but um, the the prime tracks which. I'm talking about the prime sounding tracks from Golden Records. They sound incredible on here. Um, things like, let's see, Stuck on You, It's Now or Never, Are You Lonesome Tonight is, oh, I see, they, they are mono and stereo. They just had the living stereo uh, banner for the whole record. But um, the early tracks like Heartbreak Hotel, Love Me, Don't Be Cruel, Hound Dog, Big, big Hunk of Love, All Shook Up, uh, Teddy Bear, Jailhouse Rock, and Wear My Ring Around Your Neck are all mono. So that's the first record. The, the other two records are stereo. So in stereo, you get Love Me Tender, Stuck on You, which is on the uh, volume th uh, Golden Records Volume 3. It's Now or Never, Are You Lonesome Tonight, which is drop dead gorgeous. I mean, it is incredible. I wish they would, had released that as a single 45. That would have been incredible. Um, but there's, if you know the song, there's a lot of, uh, there's a section where he's just talking and you can hear, uh, it's just, it's just incredible. It's like he's right there. You can hear the space in the studio, the emotion in his voice. It's a nice cut. Um, also, it has Surrender, Marie's the name, Little Sister, which you can't help uh, loving, it's great. Um, can't help falling in love, Good Luck Charm, She's Not You, Return to Sender, and then uh, Devil in Disguise, Crying in the Chapel, and In the Ghetto, and Suspicious Minds. So the later cuts are okay. Um, my favorite are the middle cuts, like the ones that are here on volume three. But this record was done very, very well. Um, everything sounds pretty much better than any other pressing that I know of. Um, but 
uh, it's $75 uh, when it's new. Um, I think it's maybe a little more with a price increase, but it's still available and well worth checking out if you want to go all the way with the Elvis. Um, if not, Golden Records Volume 3 is great. Um, also, there's a, there's a Elvis's Back um, reissue. I think a couple of people have done it. Maybe Speaker's Corner and Analog Productions. I haven't heard that, but I would assume it sounds very good. Maybe the material is a little bit later. I don't know if it's as good, but um, that's something also you could check out. Um, and upcoming will be the one step of uh, Elvis in Memphis. So that's going to be really interesting. And I have a pre-order in for that. I definitely want to check that out. So there are some um, audiophile offerings for Elvis um, and some good original pressings as well. So if you're excited about Elvis, you've seen the movie, you want to try something, uh, those are my suggestions. The Golden Records Volume 3, which you probably can get under, under $20, or if you want to go all the way and get all the hits, 24 karat hits from Analog Productions is great. So thank you for tuning in and thank you for your support. I'll see you next time. I'm Scott for The Pressing Matters. Have a great day.